Good morning, guys, and happy, what's today, Wednesday? Happy Wednesday. I have some last-minute, very easy Christmas DIYs for you using, I think, pretty much all Dollar Tree items except for maybe one thing, and you can probably, um, you can probably find something to substitute it from Dollar Tree. But um, welcome if you're new here, and welcome back if you are returning I know it's been a while since I've, you know, posted any DIYs and I know I'm late to the Christmas decor, you know, game here, but I figured it was a couple little easy last minute, you know, items in case you want to give some gifts or you're not done decorating and you want a few ideas. So, sorry, I'm here. You're looking at a white screen there, but I am going to start the first one off using one of these Dollar Tree signs. These are pretty new here recently. I just found these and I only saw, I've only ever seen them at one of my stores. And I'll also be using, oh, sorry for the glare, this cute little gingerbread um, tin decor piece that I also got from the Dollar Tree. They had other, you know, things too. And then one of these Merry Christmas signs that I also got from the Dollar Tree. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is cut all of the tags off here. Let me figure out how I'm going to <clears throat> and excuse my voice. Again, I've been saying I'm still trying to get over whatever it was that I had. Well, I had bronchitis and then I think I ended up with the flu and oh, it was just been crazy. So I'm still recovering, but I'm okay. And I've got my camera set up a little bit differently, so I don't know, it's a little a little weird. I don't know exactly how to <laughs> maneuver around it. So I'm I'm trying, I'm trying here. I'm gonna cut this off here. Alright, so this is like I said, really, really simple. <clears throat> You're just going to take your galvanized sign here. Are you gonna, oops, it's stuck here. You're going to take some. Now, if you, okay, so hot glue doesn't generally stick very well to metal, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and use some hot glue, but definitely you're going to need some E6000 on this because it's just not going to stay. But for the purpose of the video, we are going to use the hot glue. Just gonna put him on there, get him nice and stuck. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> get him nice and stuck on there. Ooh, that's hot. And then you can either hang it off. Oh, I kind of like it hanging off at the bottom. There we go. I think that's how I'm gonna do. I was gonna put it on his hands. Maybe I should move it up so you can see what I'm doing there. I was gonna put it up here. I think I'm going to let it hang off the bottom like that. I think I like that better, and it's going to stick better, too. So I'm just going to put some hot glue. Like I said, these are so, so easy, so quick. And then just kind of line it up there real good. And just glue it on. Now, of course, you can paint this if you want to. Um, stain it, do whatever you want, but I kind of just like, it's a little uneven. Okay, it's all right. So then you got yourself a cute little gingerbread sign. So that was, and then you can cover that up. That doesn't really bother me, but I guess you could put like a bow or, a, you know, something on there if that really bothers you. It doesn't really bother me too much. I may put a bow on there, but it's all right for me for now. All right, so that one was... <clears throat> excuse me DIY number one next one I will be using this little sleigh that I got from again from the Dollar Tree where's my my scissors I keep losing stuff I'm a little disorganized oh, I don't need it I got some brain fog and I don't know so bear with me guys bear with me so oops sorry about that so we've got that and then I'm going to be using this uh, shoe polish that I got from the Dollar Tree. It is 
the black um kiwi blue uh blah, excuse me black kiwi shoe polish this works great as stain so you just you know use it like you would any other stain just put it on there dries pretty quickly and it looks really good they do have a brown one that i like to use as well the only thing about that one it is it has like a I don't know, like a red hue to it which I don't like I wish it was a lot more brown than it is but it's okay and if you hear noise in the background like I'm sitting right in front of the window and there's a train <laughs> that goes right past right next to us and then my son is awake so lots of stuff going on and then the hippie crafter sent me this heat gun I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of go over it real quick i've never used this so we're using this together nice and easy here we don't have to do too much because it dries pretty quick i hope you can hear me but i just wanted to dry kind of a little bit better there and a little bit more that. There we go and now this one here is kind of <clears throat> a kirkland inspired diy but it is very very simple very easy again so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take this galaxy marker i couldn't find my white um is this even working <laughs> yeah it does okay i couldn't find my white chalk marker so this is what we have to use and I'm just gonna real simply just write on here yeah this might not work hmm I do have an alternative that's not even showing and this one may not either but we're gonna try it anyway let's see let's see I should have tried this it's a little bit better okay and my writing is not the best but it'll be all right Ah. <laughs> I put the wrong thing on there. Oh no. How do I get it off? It's supposed to be an S. <laughs> uh oh no. How can I I'm gonna have to see if I can erase it. Oh man, Melissa. Okay. Alright. Well, so much for that one. This is probably um not gonna work but it would have been cute you know i don't have another one so maybe i'll paint it i don't know x that one sorry guys <laughs> that's not going to work all right and as far as uh you know diy fails go there's a number one today all right so then my next one i'm gonna be oops i'm gonna be using one of these little tin bottle caps that i got from the dollar tree then I found this cute little um, gingerbread ornament. This is actually from Target. It's like a, I don't know if it's clay or not, because it's really hard. But whatever it is, it's really cute, and it's gonna. this is super simple. So what you're going to do is take the twine thingy off of here, if I can get this other one off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me just cut it. <clears throat> Who has time for this stuff? These little mishaps of mine. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use that, and then we're going to take that off of there. And really easy, just going to take this, put it through that hole, and... Uh, gotta remember to stay in shot i haven't recorded in so long <laughs> like forgetting how to record stay in shot melissa how about that one so they can see what you're doing i'm just gonna tie the knot again to kind of make it so 
so it doesn't fall through and look how cute that is and then you can either sit it on a little stand if you want you can put another piece of twine through here and then you can hang it from there i think i'm gonna just set it like on a little stand in the kitchen that i have um but how cute is that how simple easy and it's just a cute little gingerbread decor piece all right so then the last one that i'm going to do again dollar tree items i'm going to be using these dollar tree wood rings i already had the bag open and then we're going to use these dollar tree um, trees <laughs> dollar tree trees and i'm going to use this baker's twine it's like a tan baker's twine it looks really close to the uh what's that stuff twine like regular twine i just didn't want to use this because what we're going to do is we're going to be making a napkin ring so basically what you do is you take one of the rings move that out the way and i'm making a mess just get a dab of glue on your little ring there i'm just gonna take a little dab off the glue gun and then you're going to take your twine and just start wrapping it all the way around now i am definitely not going to sit here and show you all of this because this took a long time <laughs> to wrap the whole thing but this is just how you get started and again you can use twine you can use the baker's you know like the regular baker's twine in whatever color matches your decor so basically you're just going to keep going all the way around until it looks like this ta-da so i still have some twine attached to the bottom of this one then what you're going to do is you're going to take where's my tree at oh here it is you're going to take one of the trees and you're just going to twist the bottom off and it comes off fairly easily and before you completely cover the end here my camera's not focusing there we go um <clears throat> you're going to take the tree and kind of curl it around as much as you can curl it around they're pretty pliable i mean you can move them around fairly easily just kind of wrap it around here so you see i just kind of hooked it on there make a little hook and then you can take some let me see my glue gun over here you can take some glue if you would like and just oops i'm up here put some glue on there and that way this will stay in oops stay in place here and you just hook it around there and then you're going to take the twine or whatever you're using and cover up the little <clears throat> excuse me cover up the little hook so you can't see it if my hands would work with me i don't know if you can hear my son singing in the background and then i'm just going to cover it up and go around it a couple times just to make it look pretty you don't want that little metal piece showing and i have like a piece of the tree sticking down here all right and just you know wrap it until you can cover that piece up let's see let's see if it's working where's my string oh there it is <clears throat> why is this not covering it up Oops, sorry. I keep getting out of camera shot. Again, I've got a different setup, so I keep forgetting how to, uh, where to keep my hands at. Okay, so this isn't really covering it up very well, but I guess it doesn't matter. You can't really see it anyway. So, then, I'm just going to take some glue, and again, just glue the piece of the string or twine or whatever you're using just kind of glue it hold it into place there and cut 
the excess off. And then, you have yourself a cute little napkin ring. Can I focus here? No? Focus, focus, focus. Why does it want to focus? What is it trying to focus on? <laughs> I don't get it. Move this stuff off here. Maybe that'll work. Focus. There we go. Oh, just kidding. What? Okay. All right. Anyway, then you have yourself a cute little napkin ring. Let me get a little napkin. I don't know how to put a napkin ring on a napkin. Because <laughs> I never use them. I was, hmm. But, oh, that's cute. Look at that. Okay. It's cuter than I thought it was going to be. There you go. So then you got yourself a cute little napkin ring. And, of course, you can make as many as you need for your little tablescape or whatever. And that is actually also a Kirkland, like, inspired dupe. This was supposed to be one. But, you know, things happen. So I may try this again and just do, like, a short for it once I cover that up and fix it. But you can use your Cricut and write something on there. I was trying to make it as easy as possible, but of course it didn't work out on camera. But yeah, so that is it for today. So you got yourself your cute little oops, gingerbread pan there. And then you got a cute little gingerbread sign and a napkin ring. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gives you some inspiration, especially these napkin rings i think they're really easy and cute and something you can definitely do for the holidays and it won't take much time at all and you can you know adjust it and make it your own or use whatever colors match your decor so that is it guys i know this video was a little bit of a hot mess <laughs> but thank you for watching and until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye